This is an introduction to the Forest Manufacturing Model 236R vertical blade traveling table bandsaw with special fixtures for cutting rolls. So this machine is based upon our standard Model 236 and we have other videos going into much more detail about all that. I'll hit the highlights and show you what this one does specifically. So short version, we have a vertical blade bandsaw with a traveling table. This is a high speed machine We're running a blade speed about 3,000 feet per minute. This machine includes pneumatic blade tensioning, so we use an air cylinder, a pressure regulator, and control valve to set the blade tension. Tension, detension, for, there's a valve back here, I know you can't see it, but I can detension the blade, retension it very easily. Um, the pressure regulator controls the blade tension, so you're not having to either guess or use a blade tension gauge, which no one ever gets around to. So now you know you have the correct blade tension which is important for straight cuts and blade life. We, um, the air pressure regulator, like I said, makes it set at once and you're good. This is a traveling table saw. And what you're probably noticing here is this fixture on top of the table. So I have customers cutting rolls of insulation material or other materials. Um, they want to rapidly cut off, set and cut off, what I call sausage cuts. They've got a roll of material. In this case here, I've got a ceramic fiber insulation material in a roll. Comes in either four foot or six foot rolls. They want to be able to cut off lengths. They need to be able to position it rapidly to make the cut, and they want to know that their cut is square. So we have this V cradle here. So a pair of roller conveyors in a V configuration, drop the roll of material. The English language gets a lot of use out of the word roll. Anyway, drop the roll of material on the rollers. Now, I can easily position this roll of material wherever I want it. And I know that it's straight, perpendicular to the line of table motion of the table. Also, to make it very easy to set the distance to be cut off, we have an adjustable work stop here. So the way this machine is configured, we have a maximum distance from the blade to the fence face of 37 inches with 36 inches of roller conveyor to the right, 36 inch, or to the left, 36 inches to the right. This will come in all the way to the blade and you can use it two ways. Well, first I have to make one more adjustment here. This machine has an adjustable upper guide. This machine is configured with all roller blade guides. It's on an adjustable position here. So the idea is you raise the position of the separate guide until it just clears the workpiece. Does two things for you. It keeps the unused portion of the blade guarded. So if you accidentally touch it, you're touching guard not blade, and it reduces the free blade length. So there's another blade guide under the table. By lowering the upper blade guide till it's just above the workpiece, we have shortened the free blade length. So it helps stabilize the blade, again, making sure you get a straight cut. We want that just above the workpiece here, which I have. Now we can use the workpiece stopped two ways. First, oh, I should mention, this comes with a scale on the table surface. We've got a little pointer down here pointing at the scale. We also offer, as an option, an electronic digital readout. So the readout will tell you distance from the blade to the fence face. The electronic digital readout can also be re-zeroed at any point. You can have it zero touch the blade or any place else. So there's two ways to use this. First off, you could say, I want a four inch cut piece, piece cut off, set the fence four inches from the blade, run the work piece in until it hits the fence, start the saw, make your cut. Uh, I should mention the type of blade we're using here. We are using a 
5 8 inch wide scallop edge knife style blade. It makes an absolutely beautiful cut on this type of material. We're cutting ceramic with a knife. What do they think of next? The other way you can use this and to be clear here, after you've taken that out, you can run the workpiece in to the fence again, make another cut. Good. The other thing you could do, run the fence all the way to the end, move the workpiece to the left of the blade. Then you can make a cleanup cut, use the fence to slide the workpiece across to whatever to make. I'm going to do here a minimum material lost cleanup cut so I get a straight edge. John, would you grab that drop? Thanks, sir. Bring the workpiece back. Now I can zero my counter here. If I want to take off, a, for example, a four-inch workpiece, I can shift the workpiece right using the fence till the digital readout says four inches. Make another cut. You can leave it on there. I can either re-zero and move it four inches, or I can just do math and say that if I just did a four inch cut and I want another four inches, I can move it till it says eight. And that's what it does. So this is the R part of the 236R. The roller V cradle and this workpiece positioning fence, whether you get it with just the tape or the tape and the electron digital readout. You can also unbolt this V cradle, take it off, and use this as just a flat table bandsaw. Uh, we currently have it sized to handle about a 30 inch roll. We can build these taller right now. We built this as high as we can and still have it ship in a regular truck. If we build it taller, it becomes a flatbed load, but that's it's not hard for us to build it higher, it's just more shipping costs for potentially you. If you have any questions or would like to discuss your application, please feel free to call or email us here at Forest Manufacturing. Thank you.